Dear Gum, today was awesome. Papa made me this huge cake that was really yummy, and everyone in the village has been wishing me a happy birthday. Aw, it's fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick at all today. In fact, I almost forgot I had this disease. So maybe you can forget about it too and come back home now? Aww. Sadly, no, Yona. We continue our quests to find the sealed verses. The, the many sealed verses that we actually have quite a lot of, but we haven't been using. I wish we just had a radial menu for choosing magic. That would that would make me use them a lot more. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while. But once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. Of course. What do we have to do? No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. Yep, sounds like he's dead. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Okay, so we are going back to Seafront. The person I asked to help with the canal repairs should be in Seafront. Keep an eye out for a man carrying a red bag. I'm surprised we don't have more quests making us read the books in the library. I feel like there are some legends that we should read up. Like, why are we here? A thousand... 400 years in the future. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. <laughs> I I didn't yeah well, you know good for good for you I suppose you're doing a little bit of working out uh, do you sell watermelons no you do not that's fine come Everything I wanted, I'd be broke in a minute. Must show restraint. You're a kid, do you even have any money? Off hunting again today? Sure am. No, I'm just trying to do side missions. After this little break, I'd better get my shopping done. Oh, you're still on your little break from earlier. Welcome. We've got a wonderful line of weapons to choose from. Yeah, I feel like that's a lie, but okay. Thanks for your support. All right, what do I have to do in Seafront? Look for clues for the kid that went, that ran away from home. Turn in a letter. What the? Oh, he just murdered that poor little goat. Oh God, that's fine. Oh, that's not as fine. Oh, I tried to- I tried to block that. Ah! Oh, 
Oh! Once again, tried to block, but didn't do it in time. I gotta watch out for that. Okay. Back to the bar. We must press on. I wonder if something's gonna take us to the creepy mansion now. We just went through a creepy dream sequence. And how long has it been since we... We got advice anyways. Well, what's going on over here? You're looking for a kid who ran away from home? There was a strange kid asking people questions earlier. I think he was trying to learn how to get into facade. Facade, huh? Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, of course he went to facade. Yeah, where could he have gone? One of the only other fucking towns? I guess. Uh, I see the man with the book. We got the lick. Hope to see it. All right. I want to do the mission for the seek the uh, the tavern keeper before I talk to anybody else for the main mission. I found your ingredients. Oh, you are a lifesaver. Let me just get your payment. Oh, and a meal on the house. Five thousand gold. Wow, that was a lot of effort for five thousand gold, but okay. Voila! One bowl of our local specialty, sardine pasta. Oh. It looks delicious. You have another mission for us? Excuse me, but can I get your help again? <sighs> What's up? People are finally tiring of sardine pasta, and I'm fresh out of ideas for new dishes. You seem pretty well traveled for a kid. So if you run into any interesting recipes during your journeys, could you let me know? Sure. Well, I don't have much of an eye for cooking, but sure. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much. Recipe ideas, huh? Maybe we can find a cookbook somewhere. There's so much... random questing abound. Well, that guy up there wants to talk again. He's gonna brag about his girl. I'm willing to hear him out. What's so special about the, the first class girl? Did she finally see him? Did he, did, what happened? You didn't actually get to help him out. Hey, guess what? I went shopping with my girl a little while back. You mean the one who only goes to super expensive places? That's her, all right. Anyway, there was this nice accessory that I thought would look great on her. It didn't cost much, so I bought it for her. But she refused to take it. She said she doesn't wear cheap accessories. Well, that's not too surprising. Yeah, I should have known better than to try and impress her with such shabby flim flam. Shabby flim flam. Next okay. Time, I'll get something high class all the way. It'll cost twice my yearly salary. No, three times. Are you certain this woman even cares for you? Of course she does. You humans certainly have complex and exhausting mating rituals. I I am surprised to hear that she's been seeing you. Tell you, there isn't another girl out there as high class as mine. That's probably for the better. You don't need to be with somebody who only wants you for your money. Or, well, I mean, well, yeah, I guess I don't know much about the girl. Maybe she has more of a personality than he lets on. I doubt it. But maybe we'll meet her one day. Is there anything else? In this village, uh, the postman. Ah, just the kid I was looking for. What's up? I've got a letter for the lighthouse lady, and I was hoping you could deliver it. The other postman, well, they don't really want to deal with her. You don't say. I'd do it myself, but with my bad leg and all. Anyway, sorry to keep bugging you, but. Can you help? Yeah, I'll do it. I wish I had gotten you sure before, because I was the just up there. The never leaves that lighthouse, so you should start there. Oh, and thank you. The nerve! 
How dare he boss us around? It's okay, Vice. At least we're helping people. Ah, you are far too soft. And you're just a cranky old man. Book. <laughs> man book. Shut up, sure, Vice. So, did she get the letter? I'm sorry, but she wasn't home. And on our way back, we were attacked by a shade that dropped this. It's... it's a Frisia. Do you think... No, she's alive. I know it. And I'm going to keep living my life for her. I see. I'll stay here and keep the business going. After all, you never know when she might come back. I hope that she does come back, man. We're in a Yoko Toro game, so like... Legitimately... Is she may never show up again, or she might show up at the end of the game. You can never be sure with this with this Yoko Taro. The moorings you see offshore were part of a massive bridge in the old days, but now that the science is lost, they're little more than a good fishing spot. You mean that over there? I wouldn't say those are good for fishing. I'd like to become a chef. And when I do, I'm going to serve something besides fish. Good. I mean, that's going to cost you a lot in terms of paying money for out of town supplies, but yeah, it seems like everyone here is just dealing with seafood all the time. I would hate that. Uh I'm not a seafood guy. I mean, maybe I'll give it another shot one day. I haven't tried seafood in a very, very long time. But I haven't felt a particular rush to want to go back to it anyways. I've been making do with just, uh, with, with different types of meat. Plenty of other types of meat. Hello, old lady. You don't say it like that. Are you all right? You took so much time delivering the mail, my illness has gotten worse. I'm lucky I'm not dead. You truly are a staggering creature. Well, since you're here, I guess I should give you a little something. Whoa, I, I can't accept this much. <laughs> it's fine, just take it. Take it and go. But bring the mail quicker next time. And I want to see a smile. Is there no end to this madness? There is, because we don't have any other letters to bring her. Thanks for the thousand gold, lady. I'm waiting for her to... ...have some other mission for us. Like, we come there and then... ...she wants us to find a lost sailor... ...who was supposed to show back up. It's her son. Or her grandson. She's old enough for that. All right, I think it's time to talk to the man with the red bag. What's going on, man? Why have you been showing up to work? Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to- Oh God, it's over. My life is over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. Oh. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> my sweet dumpling. Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Of course. I am the one who does all the quests. Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, and I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. 
<laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. I was about to say. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, alright? You sit tight. Alright. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconded than he's letting on. Whoa, 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 hold up. Hi, what's up? Hey, how you doing? The import export business is booming. I hardly get a minute to myself these days. Oh, that is it? I was hoping she'd say something more thrilling. But yeah. Uh, matching bags between a couple is not really that surprising. Hey there, I'm uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Oh, really? You should try her. I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Sure. S sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Oh. Fair enough. What is it this time, cutie? You change your mind about that drink? I'm buying. Uh, still a minor, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> still a... <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, good for our character. Probably, probably for the best. Hey there. Do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. Oh god, we're gonna have to hunt for truly left this charming Hamlet. Finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Well Maybe she went to the haunted house. That's gonna be my go-to. Alright, it's one of the few places that we haven't been to in terms of the story. Get, get, yeah. Ugh. Hmm. I don't see any woman in there. Y'all are getting off lucky this time. Is she just going to be chilling out over in this middle area? Oh. Hmm. Something about that shade seems rather odd. Does it have a bag? Red bag. Oh god. Look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the Shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Aww. As much as I'm always expecting kind of the worst in this game, for uh, anybody who leaves the village, I wanted to at least find her, like, I don't know, safe and sound and just being like, ah, I just don't want to stay with him anymore. I'm tired of living there. You know, a more common thing. Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? No, but I found the we packaging. Didn't. But we got this off a of shade. This is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh, God. 
How could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. Why is this all his fault? Asked the man. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... Because I... <laughs> I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Ah! Who's this? Annie, I'm home. Good heavens, you're a wreck. What's wrong? What the fuck happened? Dumpling, you're not dead. No. Well, that's good. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, this is such a relief. <laughs> this poor man's gone from thinking his wife de died to her just showing up right to that army. Oh my god. Okay, seriously. What's going on? Five minutes later. I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you ate an apple and that's it? Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Oh, dude, you just put yourself in hotter water than you were before. Oh, uh, you better get out of the kitchen. Um, lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Yep. Yep. Should we get around? Uh, you know, I do want to hear more. I can't you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. You are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. Oh. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? <laughs> God, what have you brought us into? You're asking me? Who's in the wrong here? Uh, ooh. Well, the husband who ate the apple is a little bit more on the wrong. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. Wait, that's what we're going with? But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh -oh. Did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. What? You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. Maybe I should have left. You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Oh, Christ. Uh, pardon, but madam, I... Who's in the wrong here? Honestly, both of them. Yeah, both of them. to one another and end this ridiculous display. I talk for a floating magazine. Oh! Oh, where are they coming from with all these attacks? I see you finally agree on something. <laughs> well, they are a married couple. They had to agree to something an hour later. Holy shit. sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you. Oh my god, you were just crying over her death. Nice. What do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait. You what? <laughs> You're kidding. 
Why didn't you tell me? Oh, that's great. Well, I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. <laughs> At least this is getting a happy ending. Okay, so are you gonna go work on on the canal now later? I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well. In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal. Oh God. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we do need to ask about it. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. Oh, right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Great! Awesome! I'm glad we got that cleared up. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. I am happy that at the end of the day, the wife survived. That could have just been a morbid tell or a morbid story. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. <laughs> That's so rude. He's in a faraway town where you can see the ocean. Oh, it's a seafront. Pop or Devil has another mission for me. Hmm. Which job should I give you first? The Lighthouse Lady's Wrath. I've got another job from that seafront postman. Apparently, some cranky old lady is giving him trouble. Come back whenever. What? Uh. Hmm. What about which the other mission? Oh, brother. This one's rich. Some guy wants to give a gift to a woman. And he needs your help. I wrote down the client's location on your map. Is it seafront? It is. It's the guy. Okay. He's finally actually needing my mission or my, my help. We'll, we'll see about that. Do I still have all my... Oh, I need to buy some medicinal herbs. Huh. I use them all. Make sure you stop. There. A good Don't baseline. Honestly, after playing Near Automata and going to this game, we've got a lot more or we've gotten less bad endings than I thought we would be getting. I was scarred by Near Automata. That's that's I guess the best way I can put it. Oh,